bakery. In using a cyst towards of the ovary, it can reach as large oh as the size of this pan, actually. They can grow as big as 23 to 25 centimeters. Okay? If it's only one locule or one cystic space, we call it your mucinous cyst tumor or mucinous cyst. If there are two or more locules, you call it mucinous cyst adenoma. And if it is malignant, you call it mucinous cyst adenocarcinoma. But you will be able to tell it if it's mucinous or serous cyst if you look under the microscope. So, looking at this, you will see a very, very large, this is already collapsed uh, ovary. So, this is an ova This is the ovary. So, if you remove the ovary, this is called OO for rectectomy or OO for a cystectomy if you just remove the cyst. Okay? When you open this large ovary, you will see inside that you have multiple locules or iba ibang um, compartments. So that's what we call locules. This is previously collapsed but in the real uh, specimen, when you open this up, you will appreciate what? You will appreciate clear to gelatinous serous fluid or material. And then when you section this one, in mucinous cyst, you will see columnar epithelium with mucin. In serous cyst, it's usually flattened or uh, short columnar type of epithelium. Okay? No, usually, um, we receive this intact. Okay? This is intact, and when you open it, usually it contains a lot of fluid. It can reach up to two liters sometimes. Okay. Yes. Okay. This is another sample of your mucinous or serous cyst. You see, if this is intact, this is the large ovary, and when you open it, you will appreciate a lot of locules inside. Okay? Sorry, sorry. How do you zoom? How do you zoom? Yes. So this is another example of your surface epithelial tumors, your mucinous or serous cyst adenoma. Okay? Next, what aside from surface epithelial tumors, what else can you think of? Ovarian neoplasms, aside from surface epithelial. <laughs> Teratoma <laughs> is under <laughs> what what um, category of your uh, tumors of the ovaries? Germ cells. Okay. Usually, we don't have teratoma, but in teratoma, you will see a cystic ovary, such as this one. And when you open it, okay, you can see representative of your ectoderm, mesoderm, and endodermal elements, such as sebum, your hair, teeth, cartilage. So that's your. Okay. <laughs> now we go to so that's for um, our demo for your ovarian uh, neoplasms. We'll go to 